So I'm gonna be sighting in my turkey gun today. So this is a Mossberg 930. So it's a three inch, 12 gauge semi-automatic shotgun. Uh, what I'm gonna be shooting today is the Federal Premium Heavyweight TSS. So these are 12 gauge, three inch load, one and three quarter ounce load, number seven shot. So I'm gonna see how these perform out of this Mossberg 930. Um, I've got a Carlson's choke tube in it. So it's a turkey specific choke tube, sorry, um, for the Federal TSS. So I'm going to see how that performs. And on top, we've got a Vortex Venom red dot on it. So we're going to see how it works. First thing I like to do, some people do it a little bit different. What I like to start with is I take the choke out of the gun, put a modified choke into it, and then shoot a couple of slugs. It just helps me feel like I'm getting a little more precise. So I'll do that at 40 yards, get the red dot relatively zeroed. And then what I'll do is I'll shoot a couple target loads just to make sure that kind of the bulk of my pattern is centered. And then we're going to move on to the turkey loads. So the next thing I'm going to do is just shoot some cheap target loads. I'm going to shoot these at um, maybe 10, 15 yards, and it just gives me an idea where the bulk of that pattern is. So I got the turkey choke back in here. Um, I'm going to shoot these, and then I can adjust for kind of where the center of that pattern is if need be. So for this, I like to have a decent sized board, and then I'll put this craft paper over top of it. So I like these turkey patterning targets. But having something that you can really see the whole the whole pattern is uh, is really helpful. So I just buy a roll of this craft paper at Home Depot for twenty bucks for one hundred and sixty feet or something like this. So now that I've got the red dot fairly zeroed here, I'm going to be shooting the turkey loads and see how it does. So these are the Federal Premium Heavyweight TSS. So I'm going to be shooting these right now. I've got the turkey target set out at fifty yards. We've ranged it, set up at fifty yards. We're going to see how these perform at that range. So this is the shot from 50 yards. So it's a pretty impressive pattern, but I'd say that the bulk of my patterns definitely shifted to the right. So my point to aim was right about here. Um, I'd say kind of here is our bulk of our pattern. So I'd put the center of it right about here. So I'm gonna come left, uh, we're gonna call it six inches or so, and see how the next one looks. So we'll put new paper, new target up, try again. So I've made some adjustments here. And we're going to try this again at 50. The pattern was good, I was just a hair right. So I've come left, and we're going to see how it looks this time. Okay, so there's after some adjustments. It's a pretty good looking pattern. It looks like we're centered pretty good. It's uh, pretty impressive for a 50 yard pattern. So, don't know if we'll shoot that far, but we know anything inside of there is uh, fair game. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do here, we shot at 50 yards, saw how that was. I'm going to shoot this target now. So this one is set up at 13 yards. So not an unrealistic distance to shoot a turkey at. And we're going to see what it does there. Because the thing with these ultra tight chokes and turkey loads is that at close range, there's a very narrow kind of margin for error. So we're going to see how it does at close range. So this is our target at 13 yards. So again, this black dot there about the size of a loony so I mean it's a pretty limited pattern like that's about it right there so very easy to miss at close range and 13 yards again not unrealistic you might even find yourself closer so close range you need to be very very careful that you're really on your target 